Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Hannah. I post about lifestyle, beauty, and fashion, but mostly about fashion. And today I'm going to be sharing my fall favorites. I haven't been posting for a while or I took an unwanted break from YouTube because I have been in the process of moving and it just has become very chaotic. So I wasn't able to film, but I am finally in my new space so i'm very excited to start posting again so i thought i would just kind of wrap up all my favorites or all the stuff that i have been loving recently or when i wasn't posting into one video and a lot of this stuff has to do with like moving into like the cozier fall weather things that you just start loving as the weather gets colder so first i'm going to start with some of my fashion favorites First being, and I know these have been super popular, but I'm kind of, you know, last on the bandwagon of getting them. And it is just Birkenstocks. I was a little bit hesitant at first wanting to get them just because they were so popular. And I was like, am I gonna be like everyone else and just get Birkenstocks? But I got them for my birthday and i have been living in these they're just the perfect slip on shoes they go with so much and especially with loungewear i've been wearing them a lot if i'm in like sweats or i don't know in my pajamas and i have to take out my dogs or something like this these are the perfect slip ons i'm obsessed with them or i'll pair them with jeans or something like this they're just the perfect casual shoe and I love them for fall especially because I'll wear them with like nice cozy socks. So yes, I am a fan and I have been loving and living in them. I know they're sold out pretty much like everywhere, but I'll definitely link them. I kind of now want another pair. I kind of really like the dark brown. I have like the tan ones, but I'm really into the dark brown ones too, but you know, I'm just going to take a pause and just wear these until I get another pair or until, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll get another pair. I don't know if I really need to, but I really have been wearing those out like crazy. My next favorite are these flats, ballet flats that I got from Rag & Bone. I actually got them off the Real Real, which is actually another favorite of mine. I'm just gonna talk about that really quick. I have been obsessed with the Real Real, just browsing and looking at their website. I never really like took time to look at the Real Real, but they have really, really nice stuff that you can get, like really nice designer stuff or higher contemporary brands that you can get at a really good price. So I am obsessed with looking at the Real Real. Currently I have a Jill Sanders blazer in my cart that I'm in love with. But I got these for my birthday as well, and these are just Rag & Bone Ballet Flats, and I am obsessed with these. I have been loving this trend currently. I just think it's so cute. I love wearing it with skirts, with jeans, dresses. I'm just obsessed with them, and I'm definitely going to be wearing them the rest of fall and maybe even in the winter. I want to get another pair because I feel like this is definitely more of like a spring, summer, fall shoe. I don't know if these would look really good with like tights or something like that in them, but I'm definitely going to be living in these the rest of fall until it gets really, really cold where I need to put like socks on. My next shoe favorite and my last shoe favorite are these loafers and I got these last fall actually in LA at a flea market and I have been obsessed with wearing these. I am just in love with the color. I love the suede. I love this buckle detailing and I've just been loving pairing it with all my outfits for the fall. These and like the flats have been my two like favorite fashion shoe and then my casual shoe definitely my favorite obviously are the Birkenstocks. These three I've been wearing all the time. So those are my favorite shoes that I've been loving recently. Moving on to another fashion favorite is belts. I was never the one to really wear a belt. I don't know why. I just thought that 
it looked better or, or a lot of my outfits didn't look good with a belt or I felt like I was trying too hard or it just cluttered the outfit. But recently I have noticed how great a belt is on an outfit and how it can just really pull it all together, especially if a lot of your outfits are really simple and minimalistic, which a lot of the outfits that I wear are, and just a pair of jeans and a white tee, or I have on my jeans and this navy um, knit top with a nice like brown belt would really just, you know, wrap this outfit up and just tie it all together and look really nicely and put together. So I've been obsessed with belts and adding them and styling them with my outfits, especially skirts. I've been loving finding skirts with belt loops and putting a belt in them, especially like a thin belt. I just really like that look. A lot of the belts I have are vintage and I just got them at like flea markets or vintage stores. This is the only one that I have that isn't and it is one that I got from the Naked Claire Rose collaboration and it's just this black, I don't know if you can even see it, black braided belt with this gold belt loop and I really like this. I don't have a braided belt. So I really like how what that does to an outfit. I also like with the braided belt, it doesn't have any belt like holes, so you can really make it how small or big you want depending on where you have it on your hip or your waist, which I really like how convenient that is. This one's probably my favorite belt at the minute, and it is this thin kind of brown suede with like a brown leather on the outside. I just love this buckle detail. It's just so different and unique. And this is also a vintage belt. But yeah, I've been really loving belts. I urge you guys to try and style belts with your outfits. I just think it really adds to it. And I've never really thought that before or I've never been a like belt person. And all those belts I've recently um, purchased, like I said, I never really added a belt to my outfit, but I've been loving them, especially you can find really good vintage belts. So highly recommend thrifting one or going vintage shopping or going to thrift shops to find one. My next and final fashion favorite is definitely vintage jackets. I have an obsession, I have realized. Since we have been moving, I had most of my winter and fall clothing in my storage unit because I was in summer and I just didn't think, I knew that when we moved and when I needed the fall stuff, I would already be in the new, sp new space. So I forgot how many vintage jackets I have already had. And I went to Florida twice this year and I've just been to a lot of different places that have vintage shopping. And I have purchased so many different vintage jackets. And so then when I started unboxing my already like my clothes I already had, I realized how many vintage jackets I currently have and own and how it is definitely a problem. But it's something that I love and something that I don't want to get rid of because I think vintage jackets are so cool and a jacket definitely adds to any outfit and makes it instantly more cool. So this is definitely a new favorite. I'm only showing one, but if you wanna see a video of all my vintage jackets and like, like a collection, I would definitely love filming one of those because I definitely have a lot and I'm obsessed with every single one. But this is a new one to my wardrobe and I am obsessed with it. It's this beautiful dark brown coat and it's a suede and I just think it's, the perfect length and I like how this one's structured. It's a thicker material. The only thing I don't like about it is the buttons. It kind of has like a zebra, not a zebra, like a tiger print. I don't know, so I think I'm gonna change those just to a simple dark brown button and then this coat will be perfect. But I just love the shape of it. It looks so good on. I'm so obsessed. I've already worn it so many times. It's 
my favorite at the moment. It's my new favorite jacket right now and I've been wearing it all the time. Any chance I can have, I put it on. But yeah, definitely have a vintage jacket obsession and a problem, but you know, it's okay. Moving on to makeup or just body care, I have two favorites for you guys. First being this OG blush. And I have been loving this blush. I just think it's such a pretty color. This is the color. It's just this beautiful pinky and it has a little bit of like sparkle to it, which I usually don't like, but it's so subtle and I think it just adds and enhances the color on your cheek. So it doesn't really show up sparkly. It just creates this like beautiful, sorry about the lighting, it keeps going in and out but it just creates this beautiful, I don't know, pinky color on your cheek. I'm obsessed with it. It's in the color, I have no idea how to pronounce it, but I'll have it linked down below, but I know you can buy these separate. I got this in a kit, but you can definitely purchase the face sticks separately on their website, and I do have a code for them. I think it's Hannah-25 for 15% off, but I'll leave that down below as well. But this has just been my go-to blush at the minute. I've been loving it. I just think it leaves just the perfect color on your cheek. My next favorite, and as we move into the winter, you're not as tan as you, as you would love to be, like you were in the summertime. So self-tanner has definitely started for me. And my favorite self-tanner of all time is the Bondi Sands. This stuff is incredible. I've never knocked on wood. I don't, I don't have wood near me. I guess there's wood in the wall, maybe. I don't know. Um, have any, I've never had a problem with this. Never had streaks, never nothing. It just always looks so good and so natural. I'm obsessed with it. And I've had a bunch of different, like, ones this one's the one hour express which i love because sometimes i don't like to sleep in it so i'll put this on even in the morning or if i have an event that night or a party or something i'll even put this on like two hours three hours before i have to go and then rinse it off before i start getting ready and you're good to go which i love so i don't even have to like go through the process of it the day before or something if i'm too busy or don't have time it's very easy so i love the one hour express i also have the regular one and i love that as well it just is my favorite self tanner of all time so if you're looking for a good one i highly recommend bondi sands i find it in my like walmart or cvs you can pretty much find it in anywhere so love that so much moving on to things that i can actually show you my first one being the form by Sammy Clark, her workout program. I have been obsessed with that. It has been saving my life because in the process of moving, I just haven't been able to go to boxing or I am i don't have a lot of space or a lot of equipment. The Sammy Clark workout, which I love, is that there's just so many different options. She has a lot of workouts that you don't need equipment or you don't you just need a mat or just a space or something or you can just be standing or stuff like that which has been helping me so much so I have been doing one of her workouts pretty much every single day for the past like month or so since I moved and I just have been feeling so good that and going on walks I've been really loving walking where I was temporarily, they had a good, nice walking path um, near it. So I was going over there and doing like a good like three mile or four mile walk. And then I would do like a 15 minute, 20 minute or whatever Sammy Clark workout from her form program. And it just really was convenient and easy and quick and really saved me because if it wasn't for that app, I probably wouldn't have worked out as much or felt as good as I do now, especially in the moving process, I feel like everything else besides what you're doing, like just, just goes downhill or I don't know. And because I had that app, I was able to, you know, be able to stay on top of working out because it makes my body feel good. It makes mentally me feel good. So 
yeah, that saved me. I am still obsessed with it, especially in a new place where boxes are currently just everywhere. My space is a mess right now. So just having my mat and that's all I need and I have like five pound, five pound dumbbells and I get to do a quick little workout. It's just been really saving me. Another favorite of mine is, oh my God, now I'm blanking. I had, a, oh, Pinterest. Because I have been moving and now I'm decorating, Pinterest has been such a favorite of mine for inspo. I have just like pinned so many boards or so many pins and created boards and everything, mood boards. And it's just so great for decorating or figuring out what you want your space to look like or getting inspiration. So I've been loving Pinterest currently for that because I have been lost. So being able to find inspiration through Pinterest has been lovely and I've been loving doing that. Moving on to food favorites. I actually have a lot of food favorites randomly, but I feel like once you get into the colder months, you gravitate towards different foods than you did in the spring and summer. The first being oatmeal and I have been obsessed with oatmeal especially and in specific or specifically this brand it's the Trader Joe's maple and brown sugar I've been having this every single day for breakfast for so long this is my second box and I'm just waiting for the day that I'm just sick of it because it's actually crazy how much I just crave it which is really weird craving oatmeal I know it's lame I know I know it but I am and I just eat it plain too which is also very psycho of me but you can add blueberries almond butter peanut butter whatever you would like to it but I personally just love it plain I just think it's the perfect easy breakfast it doesn't make you feel like overly full but it just keeps you going until lunchtime it gives you energy yeah Huge fan of this oatmeal. Highly recommend checking it out. If you're an oatmeal person, I know a lot of people don't like oatmeal, but if you are, love that. Another thing that I've been obsessed with going into fall is a chai latte. They just taste like heaven in a cup for me. They just really get me going in the morning. I have just been obsessed. I've been going to Starbucks and getting theirs. But I usually like during this time purchasing the chai box, which is like an online con chai concentrate that is made up of like organic spices and doesn't have that like artificial sugar. But they're currently sold out and I'm really bummed because I love that and I feel better about drinking it every single morning. But hey, I'm treating myself currently until it restocks. But instead of going to Starbucks, I went to Target the other day and I found this and it is the Tazo Classic Chai Latte, you know, concentrate. It's not the best like the Chai Box and it definitely has a lot of sugar in it, but you know, it's okay. It's a little sweet in the morning, it's a little treat. It makes me happy. So I just do this with some almond milk or I'll put a little bit of like almond milk and my favorite creamer from Trader Joe's in it. And it's incredible. So yeah, really excited about chais. I've been obsessed with them, literally obsessed. My next food favorite is dark chocolate almonds. My family actually have, has been in love with dark chocolate almonds recently especially in the fridge if you're not putting it in the fridge you are doing it wrong they taste 10 times better cold i'm telling you trust me on it honestly most candy takes tastes better cold to me i just love putting any chocolate any candy bar anything in the fridge but dark chocolate almonds personally are really hard to find for me because i can't have dairy and even though it's dark chocolate which i feel like a lot of brands can do it without putting milk in it it doesn't happen most brands put milk in it so i've been on the hunt every time i see a brand that doesn't have milk in it i purchase it because it's sometimes like a hit or miss whether they're good or not but i just recently got these from target it's the good and gather brand and they're so good 
I'm obsessed with them and they're just the perfect like sweet during the day or after lunch if you have like a sweet tooth just grab a couple almonds or even at night I'm just my family we're obsessed love them so much my last food favorite is and my last favorite actually is this protein shake I have been really trying to increase my protein intake because first of all, I know how important protein is. And second, I don't eat meat, I only eat seafood. So sometimes protein is really hard for me to get. I usually only get it at dinner time. If lunch, I may, it's like a hit or miss whether I have protein, but I've been really trying to incorporate more protein into my diet. So something like this as a snack is just perfect, especially after I work out, because apparently you're supposed to have like protein 20 or 30 minutes after you work out especially if you lift so just this is the perfect little snack to have and it has 20 grams of protein in it so it's really good and i've been loving it it's the own o-w-y-n brand i really like the chocolate they have cookies and cream that i really like and vanilla and i know that they have a plant base this one's the dairy free one but I think they also have a regular protein shake as well that has regular milk in it if you don't want to do the dairy-free. But yeah, I've been obsessed with these and been just grabbing them as a quick snack or after a workout if I want to or if I feel like I haven't been getting enough protein in that day. But those are all my current favorites that I've been loving this fall. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Love you.